Hello, we are back with one of mine and John's most famous recipes. Not famous, but everybody asks for this recipe. If you've been to one of my client parties when I used to host them on my own in my backyard, we have served this several times as an appetizer cold. It's fantastic with brie cheese, warm brie cheese over on a little baguette. Oh, mamma mia, that is so good. But you can serve it hot too. One of my best clients loves this meal. Okay, so how we like to make this, this is cedar plank salmon. It's two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, right there. Two tablespoons of mild honey, or you can use maple syrup. I prefer mild honey. One teaspoon of minced rosemary. One tablespoon of lemon zest. I just put my hands on the salmon. They're all clean. And that's my wine. So that doesn't go in it. That goes in me. So we have a cedar plank. You can use a hickory plank. You can use any type of plank. It's been soaking for at least a half an hour. This one's been soaking for several hours. So we are going to take, oops, hold on. I needed my little spatula. We're going to take all these ingredients that I just mentioned. We are going to put them all together. Now, the Dijon mustard, it, it really calls for Dijon or stone ground. John loves this with stone ground mustard, uh, but they didn't have any at the store. So we are not using that. All right, I am gonna whisk all this together. Ooh, smells so good. And it kind of gets a little bit soupy. Throw that away. And then we are gonna take this and just slather this salmon, all right? This is why I like the honey, because sometimes the syrup gets too uh, thin. Just gonna slather this all on there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on the barbecue. And then what it does, if you do too many of these, it doesn't work, because it's kind of the same thing of putting too many mushrooms in a pan, they just don't, they just start sweating and they don't actually brown. Same thing with this. So we are going to put this, we're gonna let it sit on here for about a half an hour. And then we're gonna put it in the barbecue, pretty high. The plank can sometimes catch on fire, which is to me what I like, because I love the flames to come up over the side and then they just sear the top of it. And by making sure that your plank is wet and moist, it allows the salmon to stay moist and it absorbs that from the plank. It's amazing. And you want me to save some of this, right? Yeah, John wants me to save some of that. So here it is, it's kind of dripping off the side, which will be fine. We usually use a bigger plank than this, but we do not have any right now. This was the only one we had left. So I hope you're doing good. It's a good life. Right now, it might not be a great life for some of us. It is stressful. Um, so you know what? Be good to yourself. Breathe. Read something that's encouraging. Listen to some podcasts that are encouraging. I've been listening to a lot of the Brian Buffini show. He's had some fantastic podcasts on lately that are really encouraging. John Gordon is amazing. If you're a business owner or a small business person or a business leader, Darren Daly has had some fantastic podcasts and he does a daily devotion, not devotional, but encouragement that's fantastic. All right, we're going to break. We are going to get this on the barbecue in a half an hour and then we'll come back to show you what it looks like. Okay, we're back. This went on the barbecue for about 20 minutes. Take a look at this. Does that look amazing? It is ready to cut into. We normally serve this with a wild rice. Tonight we're doing it with a citrus quinoa and some roasted asparagus. Enjoy. As I said before, this is also served great. Enjoy.